Yes, Mom, you're a favorite. Are you happy that you are a favorite? There you go, there's your shout-out. <laughs>my favorites for 2019 i have a few things to show you this time around so without further ado let us get started so the first thing i usually like to talk about are the experiences or places that i go during the month so the thing experience place that I want to talk about this time is the Butterfly Conservatory in Niagara-on-the-Lake. My mom and I go pretty much every single year. It's like my happy place. I can spend hours there. We usually spend about three to four hours there and I always take like a ridiculous amount of pictures. My goal every time I go there is to see how long I can keep a butterfly on my nose and I think the longest I ever kept a butterfly on my nose was like two hours but the one from the picture I think stayed there for about 40 minutes before we decided that we were going to leave so I was sad when we left but I just really love butterflies and it's just like the coolest experience because they're all like fluttering all around you it's the coolest thing ever I actually have a vlog up of when I went with my mom to the conservatory so you guys can check that out if you want to kind of see what it's like but happiest place on earth man the next thing I'm gonna talk about are movies that I saw this month the one that I saw which I was the most excited about because hello child was The Lion King. My favorite childhood movie is The Lion King so I was very excited when this was announced and I've been counting down the days until July 19th so I could go see it and I really enjoyed it. A lot of people have very mixed reviews on it. I think because it's so nostalgic for me and it was my favorite childhood movie I just love it so much. A lot of people said that they didn't really like it as much as the cartoon which like valid and I agree the cartoon is going to be the highlight of The Lion King for me forever but I still think it was a pretty good adaptation and I really enjoyed it so definitely check out The Lion King if you haven't gone and watched it already. While I was there I actually got this hat at the movie theater. It's Hakuna Matata and it's Timon and Pumbaa and Simba walking across the log but I absolutely love it. I think it's like so cute and it was only $20 which for a movie theater hat I think it's pretty cheap. My stitch hat that I showed in I think my May favorites or June. I'm not 100% sure but that one was from Hot Topic and it was also $20 so I mean Disney for Disney, $20 each. I feel like this is a good price, but I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I guess that means we can start talking about like miscellaneous things since a hat is kind of miscellaneous. So the next thing I'm actually going to talk about is a ring that my mom gave me. Um, it's actually my Nana's ring from when she passed. She gave me all of her opal jewelry because we were both born in October, so that's our birthstone. But it is so gorgeous. I don't know if it's going to focus, but it's like giant. There's also another one that she gave me, but it has a chunk taken out of it because opals are such soft stones so I only wear it on like super special occasions but I think it's so pretty and I'm like in love with it and also it just makes it like so much specialer specialer word it is now because it was my Nana's but I love it so much and obviously we picked up a Funko Pop because I'm obsessed with Funko Pops but I was really excited about this one it is the Ursula Funko Pop and Ursula is one of my favorite villains other than Hades which I actually already own so I was really excited when I found her she has her two eels and I just think that it is so cute I love it I really want to get an Ariel one and a Scuttle Funko Pop there was Prince Eric there but I had already spent $50 on hair dye so I was like maybe we shouldn't spend another 15 on another Funko Pop when we're already spending $90 because we bought this one too. So, but one day I will get it. I will get it. Moving on to food items this month because we always have to talk about food on this channel. I have been obsessed with these cookies that I found at Costco. They are Walker's Home Bake Recipe Premium Shortbread Rounds. I love these things. They're just a package of two cookies, but I love shortbread. I mean, they do take your spit away, but as long as you got a drink, you're good to go, but I absolutely love these. No one in my family really likes them but me, so more for me, I guess, but big fan of these. And then another food item that I've been obsessed with are the Jolly Rancher slushies from Tim Hortons. It's a watermelon slushy, which is like super sour, and then they put like bits of Jolly Rancher in it. Originally, I thought that it was the most disgusting thing my boyfriend Ricardo was like, I'm just gonna get it to try it, and I was like, that's disgusting. He tried it, he absolutely hated it, because he does not like watermelon. He thought it was gonna be a cherry slushie. No, it's watermelon. I love everything watermelon, so I was like, okay, let me try it. And now, 
we've gone down the dark rabbit hole that is the Jolly Rancher slushy, and I have like five a week. And now for my favorite part of the video where I get to lip sync terribly to the music I've been loving this month. So I have two songs from the same artist. Her name is Julia Michaels. She's been around since I want to say 2016 is when I first heard her songs but she released a new album called inner monologues part two and two of the songs from it i've been obsessed with so the first one is called falling for boys and here it is and it's a sad day when you start to realize that you got a certain type ain't avoiding what you like i could sniff find out in a lineup and take a hold of me on my dust that i like guys with big lips a chimney like shit that only want my hips when it's convenient for them people i can fix they'll even make good again i keep falling for boys and mistake them for them I literally lip synced that entire song. I've never actually done that, but it's such a jam, man. And then the other song by Julia Michaels that I've been obsessed with is called Priest. And here it is. It's just such a bop. Like, anytime it's in the car, I blast it so loud and just dance and sing along at the top of my lungs. I don't know what it is about Julia Michaels, but she write some good ass songs. Alright guys, so that was my July favorites for 2019. Let me know down below a couple of your favorites and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!